Former Labour MP Dennis McShane has been jailed for six months for expenses fraud after admitting to faking receipts amounting to nearly £13,000. The former Europe minister muttered, quel surprise, as he was taken away from the dock, flanked by security guards. He's the fifth MP to be handed a prison sentence following the 2009 expenses scandal. Katie Razzle was at the Old Bailey. A warning her report contains flash photography from the start. Dennis McShane knew he might not leave court the way he went in, and an associate wheeled his bag in preparation for a prison sentence. Very good conversation with the Prime Minister. What is it's a long way from his days as Europe Minister in Tony Blair's government. His first false expense claims date from then. In all, Mr McShane used 19 fake receipts to claim £12,900 of taxpayers' money over three years. Today, the judge sentenced him to six months in jail for false accounting, a charge to which he'd already pleaded guilty. Dennis McShane nodded in agreement in the dock as the judge told him, in your case, you have no one to blame but yourself. The disgraced former MP didn't actually make a personal profit from the false claims, using them instead to recoup expenses he genuinely incurred. But the judge told him his dishonesty was considerable and he must serve time for it. He went on. However chaotic your general paperwork was, there was deliberate, oft-repeated and prolonged dishonesty over a period of years, involving a flagrant breach of trust and consequent damage to Parliament, with correspondingly reduced confidence in our priceless democratic system. Mr McShane routinely forged receipts and it's good that justice has finally been done, although I think people will be astounded that it's taken four and a half years for this case to be brought to a conclusion. Four MPs and two members of the House of Lords have previously been jailed in the expenses scandal. They made wholly false claims, the judge said today. Accepting Mr McShane's case was different. His claims were fraudulent, but the expenses real. Dennis McShane. He told the man who won Rotherham in a by-election in 1994, the six-month sentence took into account the period of public humiliation he'd already endured and his previous good character. Mr Justice Sweeney is the same judge who sentenced Vicky Price and her ex-husband, the former MP Chris Hewn, for perverting the course of justice over speeding points. Ironically, Vicky Price is now understood to be in a relationship with Mr McShane. In the last 15 years, 16 British politicians have gone to jail, the highest number by Channel 4 News' reckoning since the 17th century. So does the first of them, Jonathan Aitken, convicted of perjury in 1999, have a view on why? The general decline in moral standards uh, of the entire public and country are just simply being reflected uh, in Parliament. Uh, I think if we were honest about it, there are many people in business, in the media and other works of life who have fudged or fiddled their expenses. But the law doesn't come down on them with the same severity. MPs must act with probity, said the judge. Dennis McShane will spend at least the next three months in jail.